Can you eat what you want and still reach your fitness goals? Yes. Well, kind of, but I think mostly yes. This video will be me explaining why, and I feel like the best way to explain it is also while showing you a balanced week in my life and what I do and eat to stay fit. First things first, what exactly are your fitness goals? Is it to get stronger? Is it to gain muscle? Is it to tone up? Is it to lose weight? There's obviously different approaches to different goals, but I think there's one thing in common. When you start any fitness journey, you need to have body acceptance. I really believe the first step is finding self-love and confidence in the body you already have, because hating yourself into another body will never result in you maintaining or even loving that new body. For example, starving yourself or restricting yourself to get there will never work long term or thinking your butt isn't big enough or that your waist isn't small enough you might never be good enough if you go in with that mindset having a good relationship with food and a good body image go hand in hand one cannot exist without the other so while it's hard it's so important to give yourself positive affirmations throughout your entire journey i am strong i am more than my body i feel capable i am loved on the first day of visiting my sister in new york we went to this amazing japanese place Oh my god, the tofu was insane. And then we shared this ramen bowl, which I don't know if you can tell by the video, but it was massive, like bigger than the size of our heads combined. And I got to eat this meal with zero guilt, zero fear. And honestly, that is my biggest wish and goal for everyone. Then I got myself some snacks from the Japanese market. I got myself my favorite jasmine green tea. And I got some snacks and foods that reminded me of home because I'm actually from Singapore. If you didn't know that, I grew up there. And then I had like this chicken tikka masala leftovers. I forgot to film my dinner. Anyways, here's me doing a face mask the next morning, looking crazy. And of course, going to the gym for a workout. I wish someone told me when I first started my fitness journey to really just focus on my strength. What I mean by that is really telling yourself, look at how capable I am. Look at how much heavier I can lift. Look at how powerful my body feels. And having this actual positive conversation with yourself rather than saying, I need to burn off X amount of calories. I need to work out so I can eat this. No, you really don't. Also, there's my butt. Oh my God. But you don't need to work out in order to eat something. You do not need to earn your food. And honestly, the best feeling ever is loving your body, knowing you haven't deprived or starved yourself. Then I took the train to meet my friend for coffee and lunch. This coffee was amazing. Apparently it was like a very popular place that my friend recommended. So good. And oh my God, guys, this burger was insane. We shared the burger and the pasta, although the burger was just my favorite to die for. But this pasta was also really good. Simple, creamy, and just overall delicious. 10 out of 10 restaurant. I will say overall the plates are a little pricey, but to be honest, it was worth it and I don't regret spending the money. got to relax and I ate donuts for dinner, which is maybe not the most wholesome meal, but I felt very satisfied and I loved it. <laughs> I had a matcha donut and then also the strawberry donut and we split the cream puff. And then honestly, I was on some medicine that just made me feel so sleep deprived. So I slept in rather than going out like I planned, but that's okay. Sometimes you gotta honor your body. I finally feel refreshed. I don't know if I look better, like my face, I feel like looks more alive, not as puffy under my eyes. Uh, no, a little bit, but what can you do? I've been stressed, I've been crying. <laughs> I'm not a huge runner, but I'm gonna try those out because they look really cool. So cool. Oh my God, I like don't wanna let go. It's like, if you walk too fast, it's like self-controlled, crazy. <laughs> After my failed attempt of running on the self-powered treadmill, because I was just way too scared to let go, I just decided to do a weights workout. And that brings me to the second thing that I wish I knew sooner when it comes to just overall wanting to feel healthier and fitter. I wish I knew that it's so normal to progress at different paces than other people. I feel like my fitness journey has taken a lot longer than some other fitness influencers or it just feels like at times that I'm not progressing as fast as I would want to. But at the same time, I'm realizing, you know, you can't compare yourself to others on social media. Just because someone seems like they got fit, you know, in a year doesn't mean that yours has to take the same amount of time. 
As I continue to show you my day and my week, I want to explain to you why I believe you can eat what you want and reach your fitness goals. Let's say, for example, your goal is to lose weight, like seemingly a lot of girls' goals are to do. Contrary to popular belief, you can eat all foods when trying to lose weight. This is because the only way to lose weight is through a calorie deficit, which can be achieved through, yes, your diet or exercise or also increasing your daily movement. And I'm not saying it's all about calories or that you should even begin counting them, but I will explain more after this segment. So I'm trying to think of what I want to wear. To be honest, right now, I feel so cute in my little pajamas that I just bought from PacSun. I'll show you. But isn't this so cute? I'm like accepting now that like my style is like pre-teeny, which is fine. I don't need to wear like silk pajamas yet. I'm still 23, we're good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get ready to go out and show you guys what I wear. Okay, this is my outfit for tonight. Gonna wear some, both of these are white fox black pants which I wear all the time super cute and I love it when I'm like a little bloated I can just like I know I love them they're so comfortable and I'm wearing heels because why not but yeah this is my look for tonight <laughs> I went out for Indian food with some friends, which definitely made me bloated, but it was so worth it. Now I'll go back onto why you can eat what you want when trying to lose weight. As I mentioned, all foods can fit into a calorie deficit, but let's say you don't want to count calories. Like myself, I am not into counting calories. What you can do instead is really tune in to how you feel while eating food. If food stops tasting as good, you might no longer be as hungry, so save the rest for later and just really tune in to your hunger and fullness cues. Second, increase your daily movement through walks or just gentle activity that you enjoy. My friend and I tried this coffee, I got the oat milk latte, it was so good, and then we went on a walk to this food court and shared these two buns, one was chicken, one was pork belly, and then dumplings. And while I gave the example of weight loss as a fitness goal, I honestly think the more maintainable fitness goal to have is feeling strong, capable, and happy in your body. I really think when you focus on your strength and how you feel, results will follow. Because when you stop focusing on appearances, you stop putting so much emphasis on how your body looks 24-7. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> We walked around and shopped a bit and then decided to spend our last night in the hotel having a little picnic. So I had this sushi and it was really good. Good morning. I did not really sleep well, but I really feel more refreshed. I feel like when I wake up early, I just like feel more energetic. So. Like I said before, weight loss is not the best example because from my personal experience, it's not the best way to have a healthy relationship with fitness. And honestly, it's so normal in life to have your weight fluctuate. It's so normal to gain weight from the ages of being a teenager to your 20s and even your young 20s to your 30s. My personal goal was just to stop overthinking food and really stop overthinking my health. I focus on feeling strong, I focus on how energized I feel after a workout, and how food makes me feel. With that said, let's continue with the vlog. So this was the first time I actually have ever done Pilates, so I thought it would be fun to take you with me and give an honest review. First thoughts are, it was so expensive, one class was $50, and they did have like a newcomer package, three classes for $90 but I was only staying in New York for two more days, so I just went with the one class. But still, $50 is pretty damn expensive. I get now why people call Pilates the rich mom sport, but I will say this was the cleanest studio I've ever been to. Honestly, kind of nervous. My friend, who I actually met through TikTok, joined me for my first ever class, and she's been before, so she was kind of, you know, showing me the ropes. Okay, but is it just me? It felt so awkward, maybe because it was my first time, but it was seriously so hard to get into the rhythm of the movements. Also, sorry for giving you an awkward angle of my butt that you didn't ask for. But I actually really liked how this was hard in a new way. I felt like I was using all the small muscles and you can tell by my face, but I was having a hard time, but it was still enjoyable at the end of it. This was a reminder to me that I shouldn't be afraid to try new things because it was fun. 
got myself a post Pilates bagel, which was delicious, but $20? I don't know what New York is on, like what? It was so expensive. But I ate half of this and I also shared some pumpkin bread that had chocolate in it. Oh, amazing with my sister before coming back and having the rest of my bagel. Something that really helped me become more in tune with my body is also honoring when I'm full. So knowing it's okay to save it and then come back later, even if an hour later you feel hungry, which I did. I had some more snacks after my half little bagel. And I ate these snacks knowing I was going to dinner in less than two hours, but it's so important to honor your hunger. So that's what I did. Also, this is me trying to get the dog to jump up and he didn't, so that's embarrassing. Then my sister and I went to this cute bar called Katana Kitten. I got this sour plum, I forgot the name of the drink, but I'll find it. It was, oh my God, insane. And the curry fries, so good. Ended up having two drinks, also this chicken skewer. Honestly, looking back, it's insane how calm I feel eating these foods now. I used to be terrified of fried foods. Anyways, we walked around the city, me and my sister, so cute. And then we got some McDonald's McFlurry. Why do I say some? Obviously we got one, <laughs> dummy. Anyways, I shared this with my sister and we walked around the city and it was just a wholesome little night. If you needed a reminder that it is okay to eat sweets and dessert, here it is because it is okay and it's okay to have it multiple times a week too, which speaking of which, I went to get chocolate croissants with my friend the next morning. And bam, example of intuitive eating again. I ate as much as I wanted, saved the rest, and then I made myself eggs and ham and yogurt as well with apple and nuts because I wanted a more satiating breakfast. Then, of course, had my lunch, but I ate the rest of that pastry too. I didn't really show myself eating it. And I had some snacks. I've been re-watching one of my favorite shows ever, Crash Landing on You. Um, it's a K-drama, but you should watch it. So good. And then we made tacos. We had a little taco night at my cousin's. We invited my sister over. I ate a buttload of guac like, and had three margaritas over the course of the night. Anyways, these tacos were amazing. I had about two tacos and some scraps, but I didn't film all of it because I was just too busy living in the moment. And then I got on my plane the next day to meet up with my boyfriend and friends in Utah. I didn't film everything I ate this day, but we went out for dinner and they gave me extra ribs, which was amazing. So I had to document it. Um, I think it was because it was like 10 p.m. and they were closing. This is me trying to show how big it is. And I was excited. <laughs> and then we shared some chocolate cake, but... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was really fun for me to make and I can make a longer explanation on why I believe you should eat what you want when you're achieving your health goals, but I hope you got the gist of it. And the main reason I believe you should eat what you want is because healthy should be flexible and healthy doesn't mean restricting any foods. Silence when you